The Algarve is a stunning coastal region in Portugal that offers an idyllic lifestyle for those looking to relocate. With over 300 days of sunshine a year, the Algarve is known for its warm climate and picturesque beaches. The region has a relaxed and friendly culture that welcomes locals and expats alike, making it a popular choice for those looking for a change of scenery. One of the biggest draws of the Algarve is its affordable cost of living, particularly when it comes to food and drink. Some may choose to live on less, while others may opt for a more luxurious lifestyle and spend more. But on average, how much does it really cost to live in the Algarve? Let's find out now. Rent. If you are planning to rent a place in the Algarve, you will be glad to know that it can be pretty affordable. The monthly rental prices typically start from 300 euros for a basic one or two bedroom apartment. And there is a wide range of apartments available in the 400 to 700 euros range, depending on the location and amenities. To get a better idea of the rental prices in the region, you can browse through the rental section of major classifieds websites in Portugal. These websites are a great resource to find long-term rentals in the Algarve. In general, rental prices tend to be cheaper inland, away from the touristic coastal towns. However, this may not always be the case, and you can often find affordable rentals along the coast as well. If you can, it's recommended that you move to the Algarve during the winter or off-season months. Renting during the winter or off-season is considerably easier, as there's little tourist trade, and property owners aren't thinking about renting their properties over the summer. This means that you can often get better deals and have more options to choose from. If you are planning to rent during the summer months, it's possible, but it's easier if you start renting a few months before the peak tourist season begins. This way you can get long-term rates and avoid the high prices that come with the peak season. Keep in mind that the summer months are the busiest time for tourists in the Algarve and rental properties might be in high demand. Short-term rental. Are you looking for a place to rent in Algarve for a few months but don't wanna to commit to a long-term lease? Airbnb can be an excellent option for you. Although it may cost slightly more than renting privately or through an estate agent, You'll have the flexibility to rent for a shorter period without being tied to a six-month contract. Additionally, your bills will be included in the rental price, which can save you from the hassle of sorting out utilities by yourself. If you prefer renting through an estate agent or landlord, keep in mind that some of them might also offer shorter rental periods, especially during the winter months when they have summer rentals that would otherwise remain vacant. It's always worth checking with them to see if they have any properties available for short-term rent. One thing to note is that you may come across abbreviations like T0, T1, T2, etc. on Portuguese property websites. These abbreviations stand for the number of bedrooms on the property. For instance, T0 refers to a studio apartment, T1 indicates a one-bedroom property, T2 denotes a two-bedroom property, and so on. Knowing this will help you narrow down your search and find a suitable property that meets your needs. In just a moment, we'll discuss groceries and transportation, but first, it's essential to know your living situation. Where to live in the Algarve? The perfect location for you will depend on your personal preferences and interests. There are several cities and towns to choose from, each with its own unique charm. The two largest cities in the Algarve are Portimao and Faro. Faro is considered the prettier of the two and has a lot more to offer tourists. On the other hand, Portimao is more of a functional city. Both cities have a population of around 50 to 55,000, so they are not particularly big. If you're interested in surfing or learning to surf, you should consider living in Lagos, Sagres, or anywhere close to the West Coast, as this is where the surfing takes place. Sagres is a small town primarily made up of surfers, whereas Lagos attracts a more diverse crowd. The Algarve is known for its beautiful beaches, which are plentiful across the region. If you have a car, you don't need to limit yourself to living in one of the coastal towns like Albufeira or Carvoeiro. Living inland will often be cheaper and is typically less touristy. However, if you don't plan to bring a car with you, you'll probably want to live closer to the coast. If you're a walker or someone who enjoys being in nature, you'll love Monchique, the Algarve's mountainous region, Lagos, and the West Coast. These areas offer stunning natural vistas, plenty of opportunities for hiking, and a laid-back bohemian vibe that attracts a diverse group of people. Eating out in the Algarve, Portugal is an excellent destination for food lovers, and the best part is that you can eat out at a very reasonable price. If you are in the Algarve region, you can enjoy a main meal at a traditional Portuguese restaurant for just 8 to 13 euros. If you are on a budget, you can find even cheaper options at local non-touristy restaurants that offer a full menu consisting of a starter, main course, dessert, 
and a drink for less than 10 euros. Portuguese cafes are also a great place to experience traditional Portuguese cuisine, and you won't have to spend a lot of money. For instance, you can try a bafana, which is a pork sandwich that usually costs around 150 to 250 euros. If you prefer burgers or daily specials, expect to pay around 5 euros. If you want to enjoy a drink with your meal, a small beer or a glass of wine will cost you around 150 to 250 euros. If you prefer coffee, an espresso, known as bica in Portugal, will cost you between 50 to 80 cents. And if you have a sweet tooth, don't miss out on the irresistible pastel de nata, which will cost you another 80 cents to 120 euros on average. Besides the affordable options, the Algarve region has something for everyone, including expensive international cuisine, fine dining, and multi-Michelin star restaurants. So whether you are on a budget or looking for a fancy dining experience, you will find plenty of options to suit your taste and budget. Don't forget to like and subscribe to receive more critical information like this video, Groceries. The Algarve is famous for its affordability when it comes to food and drink. For a couple's weekly shop, one can expect to pay around 20 to 40 euros, which is highly reasonable. If you are a vegetarian or vegan, you may find your grocery bill to be even less. The markets in the Algarve are a great place to shop as they offer good value for money. In fact, many people prefer to shop at these markets instead of supermarkets because of the better quality produce. If you are a Brit living in Algarve or a tourist looking for some hard-to-find products from the UK, then you must visit Iceland in Algarve Shopping. It is a store that stocks both Iceland and Waitrose products. Here you can find products like mince pies, gravy granules, and curry spices that are not readily available in other Portuguese supermarkets. While it is possible to do your weekly grocery shopping in Iceland, it may run slightly more expensive than shopping at a Portuguese supermarket such as Pingo Doce, Jumbo, or Continente. For those who are looking for German products, Lidl and Aldi are both great options. These stores offer a range of German products that are not easily available in other supermarkets. If you are looking for higher-end products, Apollonia is a great option. However, it is important to note that their products are much more expensive than other Portuguese supermarkets. Transportation If you're planning to explore the Algarve region of Portugal, having access to a car is highly recommended. While there are public transportation options like trains and buses available, they may not provide you with the flexibility to visit many places easily. However, if you're on a budget and don't want to purchase a car, there are still plenty of options available. One option is to rent a car on a long-term basis, which can be more cost-effective than daily rentals. Alternatively, you can buy a car or bring your own car with you to the Algarve, which is allowed for up to six months. If you're a UK car owner, you can also consider getting long-term car insurance to drive in Europe. If you only need a car for occasional use, renting a car as and when you need it is a good option. Faro Airport often has the best deals on car rentals in the Algarve, but you can also check with your nearest rental company. Typically, rental prices start from around 10 euros per day in the winter and 25 to 30 euros in the summer. If you prefer public transportation, the rail system in Portugal is an affordable option, especially for long-distance travel. You can get a discount of around 40 to 50% on train tickets if you buy them more than a week in advance. For instance, a single ticket from Faro to Lisbon costs around 10 to 12 euros, while a ticket from Faro to Lagos costs around 750 to 10 euros, and a ticket from Faro to Albufeira costs around 5 to 8 euros. Buses are another option for getting around the Algarve, with day passes costing around 3 to 4 euros on average. If you're looking for a more eco-friendly and healthy option, Cycling is a great alternative. Several bike hire companies offer long-term monthly rates, and you can also buy a bike for a few hundred euros from Decathlon, which has outlets in Faro and Portimao. If the vastness of choices and the nuances of living in the Algarve seem overwhelming, we're here to help. Our personalized one-on-one -on -one consultations are tailored to guide you through the intricacies of the Portuguese lifestyle and making money online, ensuring your transition is as smooth as the Portuguese wine. Interested? Find our email and Instagram in the description below. Electricity and utilities costs. When it comes to utilities for a small apartment in Portugal, it's essential to keep in mind that the monthly costs can vary depending on your usage. Typically, you can expect to pay anywhere from 100 to 150 euros per month, which includes expenses like electricity, gas, water, and waste management. However, if you tend to use the air conditioning frequently, especially during the hot summers in the Algarve, your monthly costs may be higher. While winters in Portugal are generally mild, it's worth noting that many Portuguese houses are designed to get rid of heat, which can make them feel quite chilly during the colder months. 
Of course, this isn't the case for all properties. If your house gets a lot of sunshine during the winter months, it may be able to retain heat more effectively. If you're looking for ways to stay warm during the winter, you'll find that most AC units come equipped with a heating function. However, this heat doesn't always stay within the room. Fireplaces are generally the most effective way to keep a Portuguese home warm during the winter months. And you'll find that many houses, as opposed to apartments, have them installed. For those interested in experiencing the best of Portugal and the Algarve, it's important to consider additional costs. Health insurance. Portugal is a country that provides a public health service, which is available for residents who sign up. This service covers a range of medical treatments and procedures, including doctor consultations, hospital care, and prescription medication. Additionally, there are private health insurance plans available for those who prefer more comprehensive coverage. It's worth noting that opting for a private health insurance plan will increase your monthly costs. If you're planning to visit the Algarve region in Portugal for a short-term stay, it's important to have some form of emergency health coverage. Although European citizens are covered for specific emergency treatments under the EHIC card scheme, it's important to know that this doesn't cover all medical expenses. It's therefore advisable to have a travel insurance policy in place to ensure you're covered for any unforeseen medical emergencies during your trip. And we have the perfect option in the description below. Fun activities. The Algarve is a wonderful destination for those seeking a relaxing beach vacation or a scenic walking adventure. One of the best things about visiting the Algarve is that both beach and walking activities are completely free, allowing travelers to keep their costs down while still enjoying the beauty of the region. In addition to these activities, there are plenty of other fun things to do on the Algarve. If you're looking for a bit of adventure, you can try your hand at surfing or go fishing in one of the many coastal towns. For those who enjoy wine, a vineyard tour is a must-do activity. In the description below, you can find links to several activities available for all budgets. If you enjoy going out, you'll be pleased to know that the Algarve offers affordable prices for drinks and entertainment, with the average cost of a beer being just one euro. However, keep in mind that this is generally more of a summertime activity, as the region tends to be quieter during the winter months, with the exception of New Year's Eve. Regardless of when you visit, the Algarve is sure to provide a memorable travel experience. Bank accounts and currency transfers. If you are planning to stay in Portugal for an extended period, it is advisable to open a local Portuguese bank account. Most Portuguese banks charge a monthly maintenance fee that ranges from 5 to 10 euros, depending on the bank and the type of account you open. Therefore, it is essential to factor in this cost if you plan to open a bank account. If your income or savings are in a non-euro currency, it is advisable to keep track of the currency fluctuations and transfer your money at the most opportune moments. This way you can take advantage of favorable exchange rates and avoid losing money due to unfavorable exchange rates. You can also use online money transfer providers like WISE, which offer competitive exchange rates and significantly lower fees compared to traditional banks. By clicking on the link in the description, you can take advantage of a special offer and get your first transfer free of fees. So if you plan to transfer money to or from Portugal, make sure to explore your options and choose the one that suits your needs best. If you're thinking about moving to Algarve, we suggest watching this video to learn about the exciting activities you can enjoy, whether you're alone or with a companion. And I'll see you there. Ciao.